Hey guys, it's Erica. We're gonna be checking out DK. If you didn't know, Kim Dong Hyuk from the group Icon. He is getting his solo album, I believe. Yes, on the the uh, Icon, um, uh, Icon's last album that they did as a group. He does have a solo song. Let me let me double check that. I remember because I did. I literally did a first listen to it. Yes, his was Kiss Me banger um so yeah really excited to be seeing what he is doing like solo wise um with this one this was a pre solo debut release and then uh the title track is grooving um but we're gonna rock with this one first and then um i'm planning on doing a first listen to it it'll be a while before it comes out but i i see bobby i see punch on the set list i'm like or the set list the, the track list it's called a track Um, on the track list and I was like I gotta get into that we gotta dive deeper so eventually there will be a first listen but again first we're getting LTNS um, I don't know what that stands for uh, but I know that Oremania which is a Korean title of it means like it's been a while so uh, it's been a little bit of a hot second not too not too hot not too, not too long of a minute but I'm um, excited to get into this so you know what it like go. Okay, rack the focus. Oh. A little bit of rock vibe, okay. A nice little rock ballad, little punk ballad. Ooh, love the imagery. Ooh. I like the sound. I don't know why the picture of the butterflies reminds me of that one Ashley Kutcher movie. Also, the bluish tone for color correction. Butterfly effect, that's what it's called. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't seen the movie forever. It's just, I don't know. I mean, there's a bunch of butterfly imagery. Yeah, the chords are just so sick for the song. And that's such a visual girl. And the two lights kind of going that way, almost like wings. Kind of. But you get what I mean. The shadow glass is cool. Those transitions are sick. Ooh. And that was sick, the like sort of looking through the water and being under the water and like the water over his eyes and on his clothes. Ooh. Ooh. And there is like a, that sort of soft dreaminess to the visual as well that's so insane for a visual I really 
liked it. I think it was fantastic. They're like, I'm not saying it like the concept for the video was like a very much like butterfly effect sort of thing. It was almost like the butterfly, um, I don't know, symbolizes the love or the relationship or something. Because the butterfly effect thing is different, right? It's like if you make a decision as something as simple as stepping on a butterfly, it can totally change. The course of events like if you played Until Dawn or any of those games by that game developer um, or again the movie Butterfly Effect you definitely get it um, but I don't know it was just like the marketing for Butterfly Effect and like the color correction from like the early 2000s where it's like slider all the way to blue slider all the way to green um, that's why the video sort of reminded me of it but again that also very dreamy aesthetic but also the punk sound within there the pop punk ballad rock whatever she is um, it was really great as well I really like the song I think the chorus is great but and I think the song is really great you know as well it's sort of like post breakup and it's just like you're always very curious about this person you still have feelings for them but you can't get them like out of your memories and you just you just want them to leave and they don't leave um but yes really enjoyed it i think the song itself was fantastic i don't know how like how much this represents the entire album i will find out soon but if it is it's gonna be Liddy and I really like the sound for it. Or if it goes a completely different direction with all the B-sides, I'm down with that as well. Um, but I think it was a really great video. I think the editing was fantastic for it. I love the aesthetic of it. I mean, I was born in the 1900s, so I grew up in the early 2000s. So all of that kind of carries like nostalgia for me. Um, but even like looking back at like what was like the aesthetics of that era visually and stuff, kind of something like this makes me feel very, very nostalgic for because it is nothing like visuals that we get really today in media too, too much um, other than like music videos like this. So um, I have a deep appreciation for the early 2000s mid 2000s horror thriller genre um yeah aesthetic as well but anyways go to put your thoughts and comments down below i think the song was fantastic video was great for dk's ltns i didn't figure out what it stands for um ltns uh, yeah, can't get it. Um, but it was really great. Order money out your thoughts, comments down below. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you like me and want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, or the description down below or at the end screen. If you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Erica. Currently playing GTA 5, and very soon I'll be playing Spider Man, the PS4 version. So if you could join me over there for that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you, and I'll tell you guys later. Bye. Kiss me. Sweet like candy